Hello, I'm Jenna Johnson, and this is COVID-19 News. According to the World Health Organization, the U.S. now has over 9.5 million cases of COVID-19 and over 233,000 deaths attributed to the virus. Globally, there are over 49.1 million cases of COVID-19 and over 1.2 million deaths attributed to the virus. Joe Biden was announced as the projected winner of the 2020 presidential election and will be the 46th president of the United States. The election took place on Tuesday, but the results weren't announced until Saturday because Nevada took their sweet-ass time counting ballots. During that time, Trump supporters called for ballot counting to stop in states where Trump was ahead stop the stop the and for ballot counting to continue where Trump was behind. Count the That's a brilliant strategy. Apply that to any contest. And it looks like the Miami Heat has scored the first basket of the game and calling it a victory as they walk off the court and end the game. And at the same time, and it looks like the Miami Heat has lost by 25 points. And as the other team walks off the court, the Heat keeps playing, taking the lead in the fifth quarter. Quite the winning strategy. Trump even declared victory Tuesday night while ballots were still being counted. This is a fraud on the American public. This is an embarrassment to our country. We were getting ready to win this election. Frankly, we did win this election. That's like buying a lottery scratch ticket, only scratching off half, then taking it to the lottery commission and saying, give me my money. And they're like, you have to keep scratching it to see if you won. And you're like, I don't have to scratch off the rest because frankly, I won. I already planned the celebration. <laughs> Biden won Wisconsin by a slim margin, but the final results gave Biden a large enough lead that he was above 0.5%. Under that amount, an automatic recount is automatically triggered for free. Above that amount, a recount requires the challenging campaign to pay for the recount, and most importantly, they must pay in advance. Trump has never paid for anything in advance, so there went Wisconsin. In order to inform the American public what he plans to do about his impending loss, Trump tweeted, Lawyers press conference at Four Seasons, Philadelphia, 11 a.m. When you hear Four Seasons, you think hotel, right? Well, in this case, it was, and I'm not making this up, a gardening company called Four Seasons Total Landscaping, the one located right next to an adult bookstore. Who, who is in charge of events booking? Where do you want to make our big announcement, Mr. President? Uh, somewhere big, somewhere nice. So, one of your hotels then? Hold on, let me check. Hey, Melania, do we have conference rooms available? Don't tell me to fuck off, you fuck off. Hey, Eric, do we have space for a press conference? No? Tell you what, let's do it at the Four Seasons. You got it, boss. 20 minutes later. I don't know why he fired me, because technically, it is the Four Seasons. Trump was forced to clarify. Big press conference today in Philadelphia at Four Seasons Total Landscaping, 11.30 a.m. It's nice he moved the time 30 minutes later to accommodate those who went to the Four Seasons Hotel. That means all the camera crews waiting at the hotel had to pack up their things and head to a parking lot on the industrial side of town. This would be like telling your spouse that for your birthday, you want to go to Paris and they book tickets to Paris, Texas. Technically, it is Paris. Or if you say, I love you, son, while sitting next to Donald Jr., but you actually mean the sun in the sky. Either way, embarrassing mix-ups that you won't be able to live down and hurt feelings that'll need time to heal. Joe Biden gave his acceptance speech later that night and was joined after by his wife, Jill Biden, who will be the next first lady. We can't wait to see what she plans to accomplish. Michelle Obama had her Be Better campaign, Melania Trump piggybacked off of that with her Be Best campaign, and Jill Biden plans to announce her campaign, Grammar. CNN news anchor Van Jones gave a vulnerable, heartfelt speech in response to Joe Biden's victory. <clears throat> it's, um... Well, it's easier to be a parent this morning. It's easier to be a dad. It's easier, to, it's easier to tell your kids character matters. It matters. Telling the truth matters. Being a good person matters. 
and it's easier for a whole lot of people. If you're Muslim in this country, you, you, you don't have to worry if the president doesn't want you here. If you're an immigrant, you don't have to worry if the president's going to be happier to have babies snatched away or send, send dreamers back for no re reason. <laughs> this is vindication for a lot of people. For further analysis, we turn to Chris Mata, who is just three credits shy from a childhood development degree at Trump University. Chris? Thank you, Jenna. And those credits were electives. What's your takeaway, Chris? Because not only are you almost educated, you're also a father. When I watched Van Jones say what he said, I knew what he was trying to say. But come on, Trump being voted out of office doesn't make it easier to be a parent. What, Trump is out of office and now my kid cleans his room, doesn't talk back, and has good grades? Mm. I don't think so. I think you're missing the point. What I got from Van's speech was that he wants the highest office to exemplify the values he teaches his kids, that goodness and kindness matter and are essential, that he feels relief that after four years of his family and communities witnessing increased racially motivated violence, that this next president will condemn it, that as a black man, he feels safer this morning, that his family is safer this morning that he gets to tell his kids that America refused to continue on a path of hate and instead chose love and acceptance. Oh, um, I see. You see, that makes sense. But uh, I'm a weekend dad, so... <laughs> you don't think Trump being voted out of office makes it easier for you to be a dad? Well, now that I think about it, when I took my son to the border town of Jacumba, California, to witness the building of the border wall there, we were stopped by Border Patrol on a hike and he referred to my son as an alien. My kid thought the agent was joking because to my 14-year-old, alien means outer space. He had no idea that some Americans called people from other countries aliens. It made no sense to him. My kid asked me, why would we call other humans aliens? And my answer to him was, because it's easier to put an alien in a cage and send them somewhere else than it is to do it to a human. Van Jones, I feel you, man. Thank you for sharing that story with us, Chris. Thank you, Jenna. In other news, the presidential election wasn't the only big election happening. Mitch McConnell, the Senate Majority Leader, was also in a race for re-election. And like his guns and his support from and for the NRA, Mitch McConnell held onto his Senate seat with his cold dead hands. And last, but certainly not least, Kamala Harris made history by becoming the first woman and woman of color to be voted into the White House. And her husband, Douglas Emhoff, also made history by becoming the country's first second gentleman. What a lucky man. Because from now on, for him... It's easier to be a parent this morning. It's easier to be a dad. I'm Jenna Johnson, and this is COVID-19 News. Thanks for watching.